Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you how to upgrade or downgrade your microcode. Um, this is not a video how to insert a microcode. And the question you may ask, why do I want to upgrade my microcode? Yeah, it's probably the, probably the reason why you're in the, why you're watching this video. Um, pretty simple. Due to um, Intel Meltdown on Spectre, they had to change the microcode a bit, which hits in performance but also gains security but the thing is as a normal person which doesn't run any server you don't need that kind of security and the only disadvantage that you have with no advantage is um, that you lost some performance in order to regain the performance but without, without losing um, compatibility or BIOS features you want basically to add an old microcode into a new BIOS and today we want to do that. Uh, basically what you also can do if you want to run a server with your CPU which is in theory possible uh, this tool also uh, this guide also shows of course how you upgrade it because it's uh, basically the same process. All right, I would say let's jump right into it. Um, <clears throat> it's a straightforward process. I will do it minimalistic. That means if you skip any parts of the, of the tutorial, you may not be able to do it because I don't uh, talk long or so. I just keep it short and simple. Okay, first you want to do is go to this website or to this uh, thread in the forum uh, where you can download the most things you need. You need the Ubu tool, um, the download link, for this program <coughs> you can find it here or here like I said I will put a link in the description to this side and then uh, you need the mm tool basically if you go on this side scroll a bit down um, you can see you need um, mm tool with 7 and the 24 mod that are the two that we need but we also need to rename them and you need of course Python and there are several steps to do. It's not just sim simply download it and uh, install it. There are a bit more to do and we will go straight forward into it. Like I said, first of all, you want to download Yubu. Then you don't want to download the API, the MM tool. We just download the two files. Sorry for my bad internet connection. That's uh, what happens if you live in Germany. Then you extract the two files, um, the 24, you rename it, ah, that's not what we want to do, and then tool A5, and the other one you have to rename to A4. That asked me why you have to do this, um, that's, that was the dev's decision, why you should do this, um, I don't know why it is like it is and then you just um, drag and drop those files into your yubu of course i have it um, already in my folder but you won't experience that error message since they are not there all right the next step you want to do is download and install python but the thing is you have to do um, several steps while installing it and after the installation um, as you can read here you have to add you have to check this um, box add path option um, this is no more a given in 3.9 and it's also not mandatory to do it so you can skip this option and after the installation of python you have to run this command into the com the cmd which means you put in cmd run as admin copy paste and hit enter and it will do its thing and then you are basically ready with Python. So um, that's basically um, the preparation that we get, that we can get started. Um, now you need the BIOS that you want the microcode from your CPU from and the BIOS that you want to mod. So um, basically I have two BIOS files, which you can um, see here. Uh, the one is 1101 uh, one, one, and the other is 0224. This is the very first BIOS um, from a motherboard and this is the latest and greatest. 
So, and what we're gonna do is now is to put this microcode into this BIOS. Um, first of all, we start Yubu, um, I, I mean the Yubu bat. Then it will say no file found, which is pretty simple because um, there is no file that we selected. So we first we want to select the BIOS with the microcode that we want to have. In this case, it's the older microcode that we want because we want to gain performance. Now the program will extract <coughs> the whole BIOS. This will take a bit of time. All right, <coughs> it's done. Now we hit any key and then we can see a uh, fifth option CPU microcode view extract search replace. We of course we enter five, we type in five and hit enter. Now we can see all the microcodes that we have, but we all we just want one, but we come to that later. Um, we want the microcodes only from this BIOS, so we enter X, extract all micro or CPU microcodes extracting and it's basically done. Now we hit enter, then zero and again zero. Now we can leave it as biospin because we don't fucking care. And hit enter again and we can delete this biospin binary. So basically if you go now in the new folder which is called extracted, we can see Intel and here we have all the microcodes that were on this particular BIOS. Now you have to find out which is the microcode that you want. In order to find out which is your CPU ID, you open up CoreTemp, which is the easiest way, and you see your CPU ID. In this case, 5657. You can see 5657. So we can delete all the unnecessary microcodes, cut this one, go back to the main root folder, go to files, Intel, M code, which stays for microcode, and then user microcode and um, paste it in here and after that you need to run generate user microcode but you see um, this creates a text document for the program where it can find the microcode that you just added this this is mandatory otherwise the program won't find the microcode that you just inserted here now you run again the yubu but and now you, uh, now you select your current BIOS or the BIOS that you want to modify, which is in this case the latest and greatest 1101. And then you run it again. It will extract all the files. So be patient and wait a few seconds. All right, it's done. <coughs> then you hit it again the, the any key, um, type in five, enter. And now you can see a new option which is a uh, final replace from user microcode text. So we enter of course U and then uh, he loaded the, um, the CPU code. Now you have to see if it's correct, um, the CPU ID and also if the checksum is correct and if there are no errors. And then you type in R and just hit enter. Now it's doing its thing and is inserting the microcode And in theory, it should work easily. As you can see, <coughs> no errors. Now we can hit the enter key or any key and then zero, again zero. And now in this time we want to hit, we want to type in one to rename it to a flashable BIOS. And it changed the name of the BIOS to a one that is usable. Now we, we can hit again any key and in the root folder we can see our BIOS that we just modified and basically it's ready to go and ready to flash and it was a pretty simple process to insert this microcode into this BIOS and that's basically it. It's a bit of prepare, it's a bit of pre you need to prepare yourself a bit but after you done everything right and so it's a pretty simple straightforward process process which is not that hard um, one thing I want to point out before you flash the BIOS make sure you have a ma main board or a motherboard with BIOS flashback function via USB or at least a dual BIOS because if anything fails you can't recover your BIOS 
you could use an external flasher, but make sure that the external flasher works and not after you um, damaged your BIOS and you can't post anymore. So be sure that everything works, that you have a backup or something like that, because if you have a flashback function, you can always um, reflash your BIOS um, without that your machine is running and if you have a dual BIOS yeah just switch the BIOS and into in the BIOS itself just flash the BIOS it's uh, not that hard it's pretty simple yeah um, basically that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video guys leave a comment a like and if you want to subscribe I would really appreciate appreciate it if you have any questions leave it down in the comments I will try to answer them and I would say, see you in the next video.